So with um, FCR, I mean, we, we talked about obviously having your C or with a, your Ripple. I mean, we've all done the whole spreadsheets and paper and all that jazz and we obviously all use FCRM. How can, I think what our belief is, well, mine anyway, I'll talk on mine. Um, I think it's a good, there's so many things that the platform offers to get started and to say to educate people i think of you know a lot of the things we've talked about in the past is about just you know the amount of helipads or, or restricted airspace or you know the, the hundred other things got to be aware of which you guys do really well obviously um how do you kind of see that people should get started on that that as well uh, initially or should they sort of go through that manual process and then then go onto a platform because you know get like you said you get the typical oh, i don't really need it now i don't have that many jobs uh it's another cost you know the usual excuses we all make when we want to spend money so <laughs> yeah. i'm i'm a firm believer of start off with regulations um because you really going through your rep or going through your excluded category you need to fully understand what you can and can't do. So the, the the joys of the here's the shameless plug for ABCRM here. The joys of ABCRM it tells you exactly what you can and can't do. You don't need to find it. You don't need to understand it because it tells you. We like our clients to be able to say, well, I can't fly here because of X Y Z. Having a firm understanding of the regulation, the legislation, and like the advisory circulars and all that sort of stuff is really the basis of compliance and risk management. You can then use the tool of ABCRM to streamline your operations, bringing it onto a paperless system for it to do all of your records management as well as your compliance checklists. But having the firm understanding as that underlying sort of knowledge is so important. And, and you'll have, instead of having to follow the changes in regulation, that's your job, right? Correct. So, so that, that takes away yeah. compliance. We we comply to the regulations, so you don't have to change your processes each time CASA changes. They put out an AC. They put out an amendment to the regulation. So we build that into our workflow. So our workflow is designed, obviously, to maintain excluded, or I would say mainly we do reoc operations. Um, we don't really sort of we don't lean to the um, like the recreational users at all. Um, the I would say probably 95 to 98% of our clientele are REOC holders. Um, some of them do REOC and excluded category operations as well. Um, obviously, no issues with that. The system is built to handle both. Um, but, yeah, it's really built to allow you to comply with the, an intuitive system that requires minimal effort from your part. Yeah. And it does. That makes all our lives easier. There's, you know, As Sean mentioned, there's no paper you have to deal with. It's Everything's, you know, oh, it's, most it's, it's a one-stop shop. Exactly, the one-stop shop that it is 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 absolutely insane. Like I, I think it's awesome. It's, it's it definitely saves a hell of a lot of time. And uh, well, if people out there listening are doing it on paper, and I know because I did it on paper for a very long time. Trust me, get on board. You'll thank us later. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs>